When I saw the article that said we welcome outsiders, automatically I said, well, I'm an outsider, I'm a lesbian. Um, it very quickly became apparent that when they said outsider, that's not what was meant um, at all. Um, my, I mean, one of the things that's it's sort of this weird synchronicity thing. I was in a Jewish lesbian group, there were two at the time in London, and I was in a Jewish lesbian group with Sheila Shulman. We together, neither of us spoke to each other about thinking about being rabbis. Having said that, it all happened very quickly in the wake, as I say, of the Lebanon thing and the reaction. But we all, but we both, sorry, we both turned up to apply at the same time. So there are these two lesbians. Now, up to this point, there's been there's one gay rabbi that people know about. Mind you, he's not out as a gay rabbi, but everybody knows he's gay. That's Lionel Blue, and he was convener of the Beit Din, and he didn't actually formally come out until he retired. So these two lesbians turn up at the college, and literally all hell broke loose. Um, the interviews. Both of us were given two psychological assessments. Everybody else was given one. We were both put on probation for five years. Everybody else had one year probation. There were a number of interviews we all went through. The final panel, which was downstairs in the drawing of the Learbeck College, in those days, smoke-filled room. You walked into a smoke-filled room. There must have been about 10 men sitting there, maybe more. There could have been a woman. I don't know whether I noticed that there was a woman there. I'm not going to say the name of the person who chaired it because they have since died, and I don't want to. But he was clearly extremely homophobic. One of the first things he said to me was um, that if I was so committed, how come I hadn't signed the application form, which is very bizarre because, of course, I had signed it. So Jonathan Maganet pointed out to him that I'd signed it in the right place, so showed him where I had signed it, and then said that he couldn't make me out because, on the one hand, I was so traditional, had all this kind of traditional Yiddishkeit. On the other hand, I was this radical feminist. But there's clearly a real kind of feeling of hostility from him and a couple of others. And I could also feel other people just looking at their faces who clearly were indicating to me that they didn't share that view. And I made sure I remembered those faces because they were the ones that I got support from once I started. But it was a terrible struggle. When we said, OK, five years probation. Yes, we can ask you to leave at any time if there's a problem. Well, what kind of problem? We don't know. It's an unprecedented situation. We had to live with that. I cannot begin to describe, it would take days, not just hours, to describe the strain that put us under. Um, it was, you know, we had to prove ourselves the entire time. 